afternoon keto family keto kelly just getting her done coming in and um, letting you know what i'm getting ready to prep for this afternoon it's about five minutes after one right now last night i have pulled out a pack of the whole chicken wings to me it's cheaper to buy the whole chicken wings and cut them down into drummies and wings yourself if you want to buy a bag of the frozen ones that's fine either way it's chicken wings i'm feeling like some buffalo style wings hot wings and so I pulled these out last night to show you how I'm gonna do this now on my Super Bowl video I did some buffalo wings but I'm gonna do something a little different this time I'm actually going to fry them and on my stove right here I have a cast iron pan uh, with coconut oil in it and I'm I'm actually gonna go ahead and season these and I'm gonna let them set for about 30 minutes uh, so I probably won't come back in frying for you guys probably for till around two o'clock But I'm going to go ahead and show you what I put on these wings Okay black pepper This is a, a more uh, grittier grind of black pepper than like like your table black pepper It's not that fine, but it's a little bit finer than uh, uh, the grinder pepper I don't know if you guys can see it's got a little bit of grit to it so I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some of that on there. That's probably about two teaspoons, not that much. Some smoked paprika. Two teaspoons. I got a little bit of, here I go with the drop in the covers. I got a little bit of poultry seasoning left. So I'm going to put some poultry seasoning on there. That's about a teaspoon. Not a lot of seasonings because you're, you're going to add the buffalo sauce afterwards. So let's go with some garlic powder. Teaspoon. I mean, cater this to your taste, what you like. Onion powder. Some salt. Now I'm not going to put a lot of salt because I'm also going to use the chicken base. And I'm going to use a tablespoon of the chicken base. Now let's get this all incorporated and mixed up in there. And I want to let this set for about 30 minutes. Some of these seasonings will fall off in the frying process. But I think if you let the stuff set for a while, I think a lot of the flavors will incorporate themselves into the chicken wings. And again, you can add some whatever seasonings you want, whatever tickles your fancy, right? You do you, boo. But these are the, the typical seasonings I use when I'm, you know, seasoning my chicken. Man, that smells good. That smoked paprika. I love the smell of the smoked paprika. And you can use regular paprika if you want. Whatever you want to use. We're going to mix that all in real good. And we're going to let it set for about 30 minutes, guys. Let it set, okay? We're going to let it set. That didn't get much paprika, did it? I may add some more paprika because I really like that smoky flavor. I really do. Let me mix that up just a little bit more. Get it all incorporated in there. Now the ones I did before, I, I baked them. I didn't fry them. So that's the difference here. So guys, uh, let me wash my hands so I can turn off the uh, camera real quick. And I'll come back in in about 30, 40 minutes. I'm going to start frying them because it's, it's going to take a while and I don't want to stand here and let, but I'm going to start frying them, get toward the end and then show you guys the finished product, okay? Hey, I'm back guys. I am on the last bit of the wings. I have turned the grease off, I cooked my drummies first, and I put them in the oven because 
I don't mess around with chicken. Okay. I do not mess around with chicken. I've got them in the a Pyrex dish right now in the oven, finishing cooking up. I want to make complete sure that they are completely cooked. So I did set the oven to 400 degrees when I started frying so the oven would be nice and preheated. Hold on, let me see if I can... Nice crispy chicken wing. I love my chicken wings. Nice and crispy. I'm going to put these ones in, in the oven as well and I'm going to do that probably for about probably 15 minutes because there's nothing worse than biting into chicken and it being raw. Oh, the paper bag, I'm old school. It's the way I am. Alright, I'm going to put the rest of the chicken in here. And I'm going to keep my oven on even afterwards too because after I put the sauce on them, I'm going to put them back in the oven to get that nice crispiness on them. You don't have to cook them as long. I did cook them for a little bit, but I like my chicken wings crispy. I like fried chicken crispy. You don't have to. In here, I have one half a stick of the Kerrygold butter. I took half of it and I melted it down. I'm gonna add some Cholula. And I like my sauce pretty hot. Cater it to your flavor. You can add Tabasco too, I don't have any. And this is all the Texas peat I got left. And I'm just going to mix that together. See if I can find my small whisk. Buffalo sauce, guys. And you know exactly what you're getting. You buy that stuff at the store. I don't know what they add to that. This is how you make buffalo sauce. I don't know. Can you see that? I love it. Yeah, I might have to add... There it is, right there. It looks like tomato soup. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So, I might add some more of the Cholula to that. Hang on, guys. I need to get a tripod or something. This is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to add some more Cholula. I like my sauce pretty hot. So, I'll come back in. I'll show you me drizzling this over. I mean... I know you guys can figure that out, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drizzle this over the top of the chicken wings. And I'm going to throw them back in the oven so they can crisp up. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a minute. Minute. Okay, guys. I have the pan of the hot wings. Looking nice and crispy, yummy. I'm going to go ahead and just drizzle the... the the hot sauce on them. This is what I was doing, Alicia. <laughs> when I told you I'd be right back. Gotta film my filmer. Alright. Now, we're gonna let that coat real nice all over the top. I'm not going to stir them, so I'm going to let them set in the in the sauce. And I'm going to put them right back in the oven for a little bit longer. And then I'll stir them, and then I'll hit them with the broiler real quick and get them nice and crispy, yummy on the top. So. Alright guys, I'll be right back in to show you that process. Okay guys, this is what I'm eating the rest of the night. I ate the, the wings fairly late, like around 2.30. It's now 3.30. So I'll probably eat about half of this and um, it's just scrambled eggs with some cheddar cheese and some bacon crumbled on the top. I'll probably eat about half of this and maybe save the rest for tomorrow or my daughter might eat some, I'm not sure yet. 
but that'll conclude today I had about seven of those wings and some blue cheese dressing and that was it so I'm gonna eat some of this and um, you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you tomorrow bye